welcome the Four Force of the World, a spin-off series of remarkable legends where I briefly covered the history of an engine numbered 404 in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. This episode of 404s in the World will be focusing on a relatively unknown engine on the Metro North roster, a two-axle Brookville BL06 switcher. Even though this engine doesn't pull revenue passenger trains, it's still a locomotive listed on the commuter rail's roster, and it's still on a present railroad's all-time roster. So with that in mind, here is a brief history of Metro North 404. The story of this switcher begins in the late 1990s, where the MTA is in the mood for some brand new locomotives to replace their aging fleet. In addition to new passenger locomotives such as the DEDM30AC and the P32AC, this also includes new switchers to arrange diesel haul train sets in Grand Central Terminal, specifically to replace the 1952 built X Niagara Junction Railroad E10s. For this task, Metro North contacted Brookville, originally known for their work with road railers and gas powered diesels, as they constructed their first original locomotive for their task. These two switchers, numbered 404 and 405, were designated as the DES 70B, with the DES standing for Diesel Electric Switcher and the 70 standing for 70 tons, and they were also known as the BL06, with BL for Brookville Locomotive and 06 for 600 horsepower. They were delivered to switch at Grand Central Terminal in 2000 to demonstrate Brookville's first attempt of operating the locomotive. However, this attempt didn't go as well as planned since there were difficulties encountered in shunting signal circuits, as 404 and its sister engine only had two axles, which also made the ride uncomfortable and prone to derailments. Ironically, they weren't even utilizing Grand Central afterwards, as their 35-ton axle load was too heavy for the Park Avenue viaduct leading into the station. As a result, they ended up performing some switching and other maintenance activities at other points around the metro road system, mostly in Croton Harmon and Brewster, which also resulted in them temporarily replacing the older GP7s and GP9s. Unfortunately, 404 and 405 were both nicknamed the Lemon for its overall shape, yellow color for visibility, and overall unreliability. It was because of this status, especially with the advent of the newer, more powerful and reliable Brookville BL14CG, which displaced the two switchers as they were retired in 2012. Six years later, they were listed for sale on Gov deals, with 404 described as having a defective compressor and missing a cab seat. While 405 was returned to Brookville and is used as their plant switcher, 404 was sold to the Central New England Railroad shortly after the sale was announced, as 404 is still listed as operational and based in Scantic, Connecticut, albeit rarely used and a bit rusty. Although 404 wasn't as successful as Metro North hoped it would be, it still put Brookville on the map and led the way for the more reliable BL14CG within the next few years, while 404 was carrying out maintenance duties in Croton Harmon Yard. Regardless, this engine still goes down as number 404 for Metro North, the commuter railroad of upstate New York and Connecticut. Thank you all for watching this episode of 404s in the World. Even if this switcher has a poor operational history and was limited to Croton Harmon, it still serves as a significant feat in the history of Brookville as well as an experimental switcher for Metro North. Stay tuned next time when I start covering current freight roads, specifically CSX 404. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.